so what what is what is the exception when do you get the exception so when when we are performing some action uh, some operation of so in normal terms as in it could be it is an event uh, which terminates the program okay so that's uh, that event is it a good event or bad event it will be bad because it will be stopping the normal flow of execution right mm -hmm. right right so uh, and when do you get error okay so exception is basically is an event as uh, satara mentioned exception is an event that occurs during execution of program when normal execution of program is terminated okay so as an example uh, let's say i have this line of code so says out start and then we have something called int a equal to 8 divided by 0 and then i am printing the value of out of a finally says out and end of your program okay so this this program is fine yeah i mean uh, from java point of view or from compiler point of view, there is there is no such syntax error there is no such you know error compile time error right but there is a logical error here logical error, what is the logical error here if you divide any number by 0 that will give you a infinite and infinite value you cannot store in a because the length the size of a is 2 to the power 32 31 minus 1 right so it cannot hold the infinite number here and when you try to print that number it will give you a exception that's something which is uh, which cannot be you know printed on a console and uh, that's where the program will throw an exception and uh, because of that only because of that exception only the program will terminate right there okay so let me try and see that if that is what uh, we are getting so the start is executed and then we are getting the exception in thread main okay right so that's where we are getting the exception at this line of code and after that nothing is nothing is executing your program is terminated right here and if you see the see the you know uh, uh, description given uh, along with the exception right so if you read the last line this is what is your package basics this is what is your class exception handling this is my class exception handling this is where i am getting the uh, exception in the method right so in main main method i am getting the exception and this is the line on which i am getting the exception so if you click on that it will come it will uh, redirect you to the line which is actually throwing the exception and what is the exception we are getting we are getting the arithmetic exception which is divided by 0 okay so this this is how you read your exception okay now first is package then class then which method you are getting the exception followed by which line is throwing the exception okay and what is the exception okay so exception is something which will actually terminate your normal flow of the program 
okay because of the error or mistake made by a developer or programmer or human which actually cannot be uh, identified or located by the compiler at the compile time that can only be located at the run time okay so this is the example of uh, you know uh, unchecked exception now uh, i will just uh, just one doubt here yeah, one yeah. Yeah. Uh, as it is an exception okay and we have written uh, CISO at line number 7 so it should have uh, I mean executed that line right and then we should have uh, get the exception uh, is my understanding right or not? Yeah so that is actually uh, let me try this you are right but uh, that's somewhat see now we are getting the start words first and then exception in main thread Okay, so basically, uh, you should able to see the uh, first line as output so that we are able to see. Start exception in thread main and then followed by uh, the exception. That does not matter, Disha. Uh, it can be anywhere in your console. Okay. Okay. So, uh, now uh, let me take you through with the exception hierarchy. What is the exception hierarchy? So basically exception is a class. Okay, so uh, I have one class here called exception class. And uh, it's a uh, under exception, I have two more classes. First is check and second is uncheck. Okay, and one more here I have is error. Okay, and then I have one throwable class and then I have an object class. Okay, so okay, so my super class is object class. Object is my super class and throwable is my uh, subclass of object class. Then I have something called exception class. And then I have error. And exception class, I have one compile time exception, compile time or checked exception. And I have one runtime unchecked exception. Okay. So, in uh, what could be the example of compile time exception? So, let's say I am having a interrupted exception. Next could be our uh, a file not found exception. Next could be our AWT exception. Okay, next could be IO exception or SQL exception. Okay, so these are all compile time exception or checked exception. In a runtime exception, what we get usually? We get number format exception. number format exception. We get array index out of bond. Then we have uh, uh, something called null pointer exception. 
then we have uh, uh, let's say class first exception okay then uh, what else what what are the other exceptions we have in runtime what other exceptions we get in runtime arithmetic exception right That's Okay, so these are the common exceptions which occurs at runtime. And what what are the errors basically? What all errors we see in Java? So there could be uh, some error related to memory leakage, memory error something, or we get some you know uh, assertion errors during uh, our test ng when we will be. Uh, validating our results right that time we might face some errors in a assertion there could be some virtual errors okay so these are the common errors which we see in our uh, uh, in our program okay object is a super class throwable is a subclass of object class and uh, error and exception these are the two classes which actually extend the throwable class okay and under that we do have some errors in errors we do have some errors and exceptions again is is being extended by two uh two other classes that is compile time and check uh, runtime exceptions and compile time except all exceptions are child of exception class interrupted exception file not found exception awt io exception for compile time for runtime we get number format exception array index out of bound null pointer, null pointer class cast arithmetic exception etc etc okay now uh, what is the difference between error and exception the first question is first question uh, interviewer might ask you what is the difference between error and exception okay, so we have seen what is exception what is the hierarchy of exception what are the types of exception okay so next question is error difference between error and exception error and exception so the main major difference between error and exception is error is irrecoverable error cannot be handled or recovered as in once you get the error you will have to uh, uh, look into the problem and then you have to resolve the problem okay so error is recover irrecoverable so we be le however exception can be handled okay that is first uh, first uh, uh, first difference uh, the second difference between error and exception could be error is actually uh, could be because of some system limitation uh, if you are getting a memory uh, leakage error this could be because of some system limitation or uh, any infrastructure related problem right or any environment related problem so that time you will get the error which will actually terminate your program so error is because of because of system limitation however exception is actually a a logical mistake made by a uh, developer or programmer it is not because of the system logical uh, mistake made by programmer or developer okay so these are the main two differences between error and exception Okay, so if you tell the program, uh, program uh, tell the interviewer that you know error is irrecoverable, exception can be handled, then it would be enough. Okay, now coming on to the uh, checked and unchecked exception. Okay, so uh, we have seen the example of checked and unchecked exception. Now uh, this this what is this actually? This is what what uh, whatever the exception we are getting here. What is this exception? Unchecked exception. Unchecked exception because it occurred at runtime. Right? I mean, compiler was not aware of this mistake, and uh, when 
uh, this program was executed, then only the exception occurred because of the logical mistake here. Okay. Uh, so uh, this was unchecked exception. And for checked exception, what we have to do, let's say I am using one thread class. And in that, I have one method called slip. Okay. And uh, what this method does is it holds the execution of program for 2000 milliseconds. Okay. So this is actually a kind of weight which we use in uh, Java programming. Though it is not recommended, but sometime we will have to use that. So let's say I am having something called start here and something called end here. Okay, and now what compiler is saying, please, uh, uh, you know, uh, this statement might throw an exception, right? So please handle that. Please handle that using try catch or handle that using throws declaration. So right now I will just add the throws declaration here. And uh, here you can see three suggestions are there. First is interrupted exception. Second is exception. And then third is throwable. So interrupted exception is the supermost child. Then exception is the uh, parent of interrupted exception and throwable is the parent of exception, right? So this is what we have seen in our hierarchy, right? So I can choose either of the exception here. So I am choosing interrupted exception here. So this is the example of checked exception. Once you throw that, uh, then this line of uh, whatever the uh, red line was underlined we are getting here, that is gone. Okay, now I can, ex if I execute this program, it will be like a start and then uh, compiler waited for two seconds and then it printed it. So this is a checked exception. Another example could, could be like file input stream. add file equal to new file okay and let's say if i am giving here is null then this line of code is also again saying that uh, okay please uh, uh, this line might throw one uh, file not found exception. So please handle that. Uh, either handle that using add throws declaration or handle that using surround with try catch. So as of now, I'll be using just throws declaration here. So again, you can see this, uh, this hierarchy here. File not found exception is the super, ch uh, uh, the child, then IO exception, exception and throwable. Okay, so let's say I'm choosing the file not found exception here. Okay, so this, this error is gone from here. Another example of unchecked ex, uh, checked exception could be, let's say I have one robo, robot class R equal to new, robo, new robot. So, okay. so this is basically uh, a class which is there in uh, that basically we use for applets and swing, swings in Java. It does not uh, basically used by uh, automation testers. It is being used by developers. So in swings and applets, we use this robot class and uh, uh, it will throw an AWT exception. So again, this is a checked exception and uh, compiler will ask you to either add the throws declaration or surround with try catch. So let me add the throws declaration here. So you can see here the hierarchy, AWT exception, followed by exception class and then throwable class. So I will have to use the AWT exception here, right? So the more statement you have uh, like this in your code, the, the more exceptions will be added here along with the throws keyword. Okay, now, uh, what we can do here, instead of writing these many exceptions, what we can directly write one parent class here. So if I write exception class here directly, uh, I am all good. 
okay so i won't get any error here because instead of writing multiple exceptions multiple child exceptions here i can directly write the parent exception here making sense so these are all checked exceptions in java so if programmer ask if the interviewer ask you what are the checked exceptions you get you can just say that uh, uh, during while using thread dot sleep you can you can get the interrupted exception while using a uh, uh, file class right file input stream of file class i can get the file not found exception so those are called checked exceptions which are actually uh, uh, look uh, identified at the compile time only next is unchecked exception So for I'm needing just one uh, yeah, one question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you go back to that program? Hmm. So in before using the exception throws exception, we used multiple other uh, object uh, exceptions, right? Mm -hmm. And it uh, indirectly imported many packages. So when we use this just exception, do we need to actually import any other packages? No, no, because exception is a class of all those those exceptions. Exception okay, is a parent so class of the, all those exceptions. Okay, so in even without using a uh, using a utility package, it will work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, see in hierarchy, right? Uh, uh, we have seen uh, interrupted exception, file not found exception, AWT exception. All are part of compile time exception, and that eventually fall under exception class. Exceptions. So either you use exception class or you use throwable class. That is all completely fine. So instead of Except exception, I can use throwable also here. Okay, so I can get to that T. Okay, so that is also fine because throwable is a super class, right? Okay. So see, you can just read the description here. The throwable class is a super class of all error and exception in Java language. Okay, so you can directly use throwable, or you can use exception, or you can use multiple exceptions. So that will be based on your uh, on your multiple lines. Okay. Okay. So those were actually checked exception and unchecked exception could be like uh, we have seen couple of example here like int c equal to nine by zero. Then uh, uh, let's say I am getting error index out of one. So for that int i equal to New int five, and I am trying to what I am trying to do. Says out. Uh, let's say I am trying to print the value at index six. Okay, so this is how I'll get array index out of bound. Uh, another example could be let's say I am having some string a equal to null, and that I am trying to print using. This so I will get the null pointer exception. What else? I can get the number format exception like uh, uh, let's say a string s equal to a b c, and that I am trying to parse with uh, and k. This out. Okay. Let's say I have end and then start. Okay. So okay. So uh, my execution is starting from here. Okay, from start. Then at first line I am having int c equal to nine by zero. And let me just print that. C okay, then I am declaring an array of size five, and I am what I am doing. I am trying to print the value at index six, right? or maybe index five, right? So index, uh, it will have uh, the values from index zero to index four, right? So index five would be uh, would be beyond the array's scope. Next could be I am just declaring a string with null, and that I am trying to print. Okay, so it should give you the null pointer exception. 
and then I am trying to pass a uh, integer value to uh, a string value to integer, and that I am trying to print. And then finally, I am printing and here. So let me run this program and check what all exceptions I am getting. Uh, ideally, it will terminate here only because it will not move to the next line. Okay. So. Okay, so what I'm getting here is started with start and then it thrown the arithmetic exception at line number nine in Java at this line. Okay, uh, since my program was terminated here only, that's why I did not check the remaining exceptions, the remaining statements. Okay, now uh, the uh, uh, we'll see that how we will get the other exceptions also, but before that we'll check how to handle those exceptions. Okay, so basically in Java we have two ways to handle these exceptions. The first is try catch, try catch block, and second is throws keyword. So try catch block and second is throws keyword. So the uh, with these two ways we can handle the exception in Java. Until here, everything is fine, right? I mean, uh, what is exception? What is exception hierarchy type of exception? Then check, done, check, etc. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now this line is giving an exception, right? So we need to handle that exception. So that what happens is your program does not terminate suddenly. Okay, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the remaining line of code should also be executed. Okay, so for that, we will have to handle this. So there are two ways, either with try catch block and second is throws, uh, with the throws declaration. So let me remove throws from here. And then, so uh, in, uh, from these two ways, try catch is recommended because it actually handles the exception. Okay, so whatever the line is giving you an exception, you can surround that line with the try catch block. So how do you do that? So for that, we have an option in Eclipse. Just to select that line, right click and surround with surround with try catch, try catch block, try multiple clash, try with resource. So this is the one way you can directly do it from Eclipse. So if I do that, I will get try catch try block followed by catch block. So that is the one way I will not use that. I will type the try catch by myself. So I will write try followed by a uh, control space. So it will give you a suggestion here. Use try catch, try finally. Okay, so I will use try catch here. And then uh, uh, the try catch, uh, you know, code is generated. Now, what, which line is giving me exception? This line is giving me exception, right? Int c equal to nine. So uh, you are what you are trying to say to compiler, please try this. And if this line has any exception, catch this in this, uh, catch this in, uh, in this catch block. Okay, so my, this line is giving me exception. So uh, what I'm saying to compiler, if this line is having problem, then catch the exception in this line. And here along with the catch, I will have to specify the name of the exception. By default, it is giving you the parent exception. So that is the exception class. Since I, I know that it could give you the arithmetic exception. So I will write here directly arithmetic exception. Exception. E. I think arithmetic is here okay so my exception will be caught here and whatever the message you want to print this with this object right so the, uh, this object will catch the exception and uh, uh, whatever the message you want to print with this mess uh, with this object you can print that uh, like e dot get message so it will give you divide by zero message. Okay. So I, I am now handling the exception. Okay. 
let me try and run this and see what is the output here. Okay, so what it is saying, uh, you get the exception and uh, so basically this line is throwing the exception. So uh, the next line would be skipped and finally the exception is caught by E object and uh, with the help of E uh, with that object, I am getting the message divide by zero. Here, see in this console. Okay, so first it is printing start followed by divide by zero and then exception in main thread. Now I am getting the second exception. I actually uh, I actually handled that exception and then the second new new exception I am getting. So the new exception is coming here in this array and in this line of code, wherein I am trying to print the value which is beyond the array's scope. So now I am I am getting the exception in this line. See, I am I am able to handle exception using try catch, right? Is it making sense? So e, e dot get message is printing uh, by zero. Oh, divide by zero, yeah. This is printing by okay. divide by zero. Okay, now I need to handle this exception. Okay, so this is the array declaration and my this line of code is giving me exception. So let me surround this with try catch. Okay. Try followed by control space and then try catch. Okay, so my this line of code is giving me exception and here also see so then e dot get message and uh, so instead of exception I would write here array index out of bound. Okay, so let me try and run this. So start by zero, index five out of bound for length five. And then null, I'm not getting null pointer exception for this. And then I am getting number format exception finally. And in this line of code. So this is not giving null. I'll tell you how we will get null pointer exception in a while. So finally, I am able to handle this exception. Then I am able to handle this exception. And then I am able to get uh, uh, the uh, value null here. And then finally, this line of code is giving you exception. I think this line will give you exception. Wherein I am trying to, no, this line will give you exception. So wherein I am trying to parse the string value to integer. Okay. So this is how you will handle using try catch block. Making sense? Any confusion yes. here? Yes, yes, Nathan. Yes. Okay. No. We can we can have n number of uh, try catch blocks. Yeah, yeah, you can have n number of try catch blocks. Now, uh, uh, there are several combinations with the try catch block. So I will write down everything. Uh, before that, we will look into the finally block. See, uh, we are able to handle this exception. We are able to handle this exception. We are uh, able to reach until here, right? Now, what I want, I want, uh, I don't know if there is any other exceptions in my code, in the remaining code. And I want some something to be printed after everything is uh, done. Right. So for that, what I will do, uh, 
finally delete this token i think this has to be used with finally Okay, so uh, so finally, actually, uh, there are two ways, right? Uh, either we can use try catch combination or we can use try finally combination. So let me use here control X fi try finally combination. So try finally. Finally, block. Okay, so we have two ways, right? First is try catch block, and second is try finally block. So catch will actually catch the exception and when you use whenever you use try and finally block uh, the exception would not be caught but whatever the code we have in the finally block that will always be printed on console so here in this this code we are not handling the exception so this line will throw the exception and uh, and then finally uh, this block of code will be printed because that's that's enclosed within the finally uh keyword okay so let me try and check so i am getting start followed by divide by zero then this is what the message we are getting for index uh, exception then null and then finally the finally block is printed and then since the exception was there so we are getting the normal number format exception so even though you are not handling the exception using the cache block, the, 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 the code which is written inside the finally block will always be executed. Okay. So that is the usage of finally. Okay, so uh, 